One of the most troubling things about the inflation report from yesterday was the price of food. The price of food up 12% in the United States, also 12% in the UK, and similar prices around the world. The price of food keeps going up. So if you are spending $1,000 a month on food, your cost just went up $120. That's a month per month. That's pretty drastic. That's, that's, that means, especially given that other things are going up, everything, everything went up except oil this month at similar rates. Oil and luxury jewelry are the only two things that didn't go up. It means that everybody is getting poor every single month. The average American worker is not getting a raise to keep up with the cost of, inf cost of inflation and real rate, real income is going down by almost 3%, 2.8%. So each American on average is getting poorer every single month as the Fed tries to get inflation under control. This is the result of printing, partially the result of printing so much money. We got all those stimulus checks last year, the government spent a lot of money and now they're, uh, we're all paying the price. The government continues to spend money uh, with the, the uh, so-called Ref, re, uh, inflation Reduction Act uh, last last month, which, which is spending almost a trillion dollars in a bunch of different programs. And uh, we can see now the effects. It's not helping to bring down, in, down inflation. The Fed is really struggling to bring down inflation as the government continues to spend money and consumers continue to spend money. People uh, continue to spend. The, the, uh, the CPI is up, but also that consumer spending is up. Saving is, is way down. It's 0.06%. So people are not saving money. They're taking money out of their bank accounts, money that they've saved over the last couple, couple of years. They're taking money out. The net inflows of banks uh, is about $600 billion of money that people are taking out of banks uh, in the last month to uh, be able to afford to live, to be able to afford the 12% increase in the uh, price, uh, in the price of food and uh, other things. So until the government can stop spending or until, and, until consumers can stop spending or until the economy slows way down, we get ourselves into a deeper, deeper recession or even a, a depression, prices are going to keep going up. These numbers that we got yesterday are, uh, are not looking good, up 0.1% in the last month inflation-wise, and it's really starting to affect, affect Americans. And it's going to be interesting to see how it uh, affects the election coming up in, uh, in about two months. Are people going to, going to be angry that their cost of living continues to rise and inflation continues to, to rise or stagnate? We could be seeing stagflation with, uh, with the, econ the economy stagnant, but inflation going up. So we're all going backwards. If it gets too bad with the price of food, we could start seeing uh, food riots or civil unrest, which happens historically. Let's hope it doesn't come to that, but it is uh, something to be thinking about in the future. How do you adjust your portfolio, stock up on food, uh, other, other supplies, since the price could continue to go up if, the, if the, uh, the, the, the war in Ukraine continues to escalate? So uh, think about how you can position yourself in the coming months or the coming years because inflation is here and similar unrest may be following.